William Sidney Potter, or O. Henry, as he was remembered by his readers, was an American short story writer born in North Carolina. Noted for his witty writing and middle-parted hair, he moved to New York City and emerged as one of the most successful writers in the English language during the 1910-1920 to New York recession, writing tirelessly more than 381 short stories within his short life. His most notable and brilliant works are A Gift to Maggie, The Duplicity of Hargroves, The Ransom of Red Chief, he is known for his signature thought-provoking paragraphs and suspicious plots. His legend has found name in the O. Henry Prize given annually by the government's Penn American Foundation. His writing has been underlined for its relevance to the time it was written in. He has been called the playful posthumous, as most of his writings have seen public knowledge only after his death. According to Times Magazine, he is the best-selling author in royalties. His publisher, Simon & Suchester, has earned north of $250 million, a quarter of a billion dollars in royalties. His most well-known book, A Gift to Maggie, has sold 10 million copies worldwide and is still counting. Its cultural relevance is to be heard. The book was a gift by husbands during World War II to their wives and was sent traditionally with locks of hair. Finally, one of my favorite O. Henry quotes was from his radio interview when he was asked to tell if he was scared to be successful and thought he would ever be successful again as his books were not selling properly. He said, as a little boat taking support of the wind, I will sail faster and slower too at times and my O will be my pen, and my boat being my paper. But I know in this sea I will never see a shore, for it has no limit as long as I have my ink bottle. Thank you for this opportunity.